Are you ready to make some base 10 blocks with me? We're going to create the flat, the long, and the cube together today, and we are using PowerPoint. So I'm going to first move these down to the bottom of the screen because we're not, we're going to create, recreate those from scratch. So I'm going to start by inserting a shape, insert a cube, and I'm going to change the shape fill to white, outline to black, change the weight to about one and a half, and now my cube is done. I'm going to press shift and just shrink it down so that it's uh, a smaller size for the page. Now I'm going to duplicate that cube and I'm going to move it over here and I'm going to duplicate it again and I'm going to start stacking them for the long. So once I have that one in position, I'm going to press control D again to duplicate it and another time. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I want to make sure that they're lined up. So I'm going to highlight those, arrange, align to the left, arrange, align, distribute vertically. And it looks like they are all lined up. So I'm going to highlight them all, press Control G to group. Now I'm done with the long. I'm going to duplicate that long by pressing Control D. And then I'm going to press Control D again and line up that with the other one so that there's two tens next to each other. And I'm going to create the flat. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to then highlight a line to the top, arrange, align, distribute horizontally, and control group. And I'm done. I've created the flat, the long, and the cube for my base 10 blocks. If you are interested in more math graphics like these, look at the description below because I have a whole free workshop for you on math graphics. All right, check it out. Can't wait to see you inside.